All right, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few things. Uh, this is a page from the uh, Nail Biter Hack Slash Crossover uh, book that's coming out from Image in March. And I want to talk about how I use uh, values and a bit of a, a trick to, to check your values, uh, which is sometimes hard to do. When you're just looking in in color, it's it's hard to tell what what the colors are lighter and darker than other colors right next to each other if they're in a similar value range. And so I'll, I'll, it kind of helps to make the page read uh, if it, the page works, if the values work well, and the values are how light and dark uh, something is on the page. So now. Where I am with this particular page here, the local colors are there. I've pretty much just picked uh, the, the local color. That's the color things would be under a white light. I uh, really haven't made any adjustments, and there's some things that are too light and some things that are too dark and too saturated and really haven't got to uh, you know, finalize all that yet. So I kind of want to show you uh, how I go about doing that. Now, um, in this scene takes place at night <coughs> excuse me the scene takes place at night and so I'm going to I want everything to have kind of that bluish green uh, color that uh, things are at night so I've got this kind of middle blue green here and the first thing I'm going to do and I've got a, a video explaining this the color mode trick if you want to watch that one but I'll make a layer on top of my colors under my inks um, Again, fill it with that green color and set the mode of that layer to color. It's, everything is going to be a shade of, of that green. And then I'm going to change the opacity down. So like that's at 0%. That's the original. You know, there's 40%, which is roughly where I usually will go between 30 and 40 to 50, depending on what the page is. And this kind of ties everything together a little bit. And, <clears throat> excuse me. One second. All right. So <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do before I so I'm not still not rendering yet. I'm not really getting into anything heavy yet. I'm going to make a layer on top, fill it with black, and set it to color as well. Now this is this this is just going to be a value check. We'll call it we'll call it value check. And I can toggle this all, you know, on and off to check uh, values on the page, and and I like to, I kind of want the page to work even like this, okay? So, because it makes it easier to to read things. So, so right off the bat, sorry about that. So right off the bat, I'm going to start changing these values uh, in in here to uh, make them work a little bit better. So. For example, go ahead and merge this down. All right, so for example, this this area behind her is just too light. So there's a lot of ways to do that. Sometimes I'll use the sliders here. Sometimes I'll just change the color, whatever. But I want that to be darker. And let's see, the windows feel a little light also to be nighttime. So, and I'm actually adding a little bit more color into this because the, the van's already this kind of gray color here. And it's night, these hills are far too green. <laughs> you would they wouldn't be that green at night. The sky color is actually not that bad. Just kind of keeping it desaturated. And so now now I'll check again. You know, is it's everything reading here the way that it currently is. You know, her skin's light is sticking out here. Uh, you know, her uh, 
her skin and, and the background here are, are pretty close, but you know they're completely different hues. So that you know that works okay. Now in this panel, there's a lot going on here. There's there's you get this car here, which is really not important um, to the script in this panel anyway. You've got the van they're driving, and again I, this is all in the script. So my focal point is the van and this sign. Uh, the sign actually has the town the town name. And I want to make sure that, you know, this reads, but this car really has, it's kind of on equal standing here with the, uh, with the van, the way that it is now. So what I'll usually do is I'll go and let's see, I'm going to grab all the colors here on this uh, car. I'm just using the magic wand and holding down shift to grab all of these things. And I want to make sure I didn't grab anything else by accident. Sometimes my flatter will use the same color for two different things, and it can be a pain when you realize you shifted the color of something else. So again, what I'm trying to do here, I want this panel to, to read only what's most important. I want your eye to be drawn into this band and then over to the sign here. But so what I'm going to do, there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm actually going to make another layer on top of this and let's see let me just get a blue here and see it's kind of a darkish navy blue fill it in and then I'm just going to change the opacity of that layer and it's in normal mode uh, you can try that in color sometimes that works too but this one's entirely too right that way so I'm just going to leave it on normal all right and let I'll turn the value check back on and you know again now I've kind of got this this all sort of it all sort of blends a little bit which in this case is okay because again this is not the focal point of the page this van is the focal point of the page and, and in your rendering stage, you'll do things also to, to help this out. Um, but for now, I just kind of want to get it close. But that works better. Um, and then the last panel here, uh, now Emilio has done a great job in the line art itself. You know, the lines on this guy are much thicker. The line weights are thicker, and so it's standing out more. And the lines back here are, are thinner, if you'll look. Uh, which is, if you're an inker, pay attention. Um, <laughs> you know, so it immediately creates some separation just in the lines, which is good. I'm going to merge that color back down on the car there. But, you know, all this sort of blends a little bit as far as from a color standpoint. So, let's see, who's talking in the script? in this panel. I'm checking this on the, my other monitor here. Okay, so Cassie's got a line and then this guy is just kind of noticing her, so he's not so much the focal panel, the focal point, I should say, of this page. I mean, he is, but I want to make sure I've got some some good separation so that you know this is, uh, you know, two different planes happening here where he is and where she is. Um, uh, let's see, <laughs> this is a good example. I'm grabbing this color and I'm getting all this other stuff too. My flatter is good, but every now and then they'll do that. So I'm going to frame this a little bit better. Uh, darken this. Um, this here and you'll see me check these values every now and then I'm trying to make sure I don't get too dark here because really I only use any, any 30k and above that's a whole other lecture we'll get in. <laughs> a whole other lesson for another day and I'm, again I'm just sort of tweaking like see I grabbed the steering wheel and this also changed I think they were in a rush when they did this page
All right, so it's it's coming together. I'm starting to get pretty happy with it. Just a little bit of saturation in her hair. I'm still, you know, making adjustments here. And people always ask about, you know, what color, what's a good color for skin tones or what's a good color for this or that or whatever. It really just depends on the page. It depends on what colors are around it because, you know, right now you're probably looking at this and her skin looks like skin color, right? I and mean, he looks like the color of skin in this context. But if I color pick her skin, look at this. It's like a light green, <laughs> but it reads as the color of skin because of everything around it. Same thing here, like, you know, this uh, post here, you know, it, almost, it looks a little, uh, you know, uh, reddish almost. And if you color pick it, I mean... It's basically gray uh, because of because it's all everything around it is blue and green and all cool colors. So even just getting shifted toward gray is actually making that look red. And that's a that's a whole other lecture too. But <laughs> so anyway, um, this is starting to 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 work. Um, and let me change all of these. All right, I'm just gonna push this back a little bit because this color, this place was almost the same color as this sign, and your brain wants to put them in the same plane, and they're of course not in the same plane at all. All right, so. I think that's looking pretty good. I can check my values again and make sure that uh, nothing I did uh, screwed anything up. I was going to do something in this panel. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Um, I could go warmer on everything else in the panel around him and leave her cool out there in the nighttime, which may be a good idea. I'm just using the magic wand and the holding down alt. I have to look at my keyboard every time um, to um, move all of these areas here. So all that's left is the foreground. And I could try like using the color balance to you know warm this up a little bit. Not a lot, again, because it's still nighttime. I can go cooler. Yeah, I think I like it like that. So he's a little bit more, you know, reddish browns and beiges, and, and then the background here is cooler. When I say cooler, I mean like cool as in awesome, cool as in temperature, color temperature. That's probably another one. Sure. And I just want to make this a little bit darker. It was blending into that background a little too much. And I think that's pretty good. So to recap, to check your values, create a layer on top, fill it with black. Here's a, here it is on normal, okay? Fill it with black, set it to color. And remember, your page should pretty much work this way. Now, when you start rendering... You know, of course, things are going to get lighter and darker, but this is kind of a good guide. I've started using this a lot. Um, I still think this uh, this may be a little bit too 
light to be nighttime. So yeah. And yeah, so the page should work pretty well in black and white. It's not perfect. I mean, you're going to have some things that still need to be adjusted, but you know, I like to keep that on there to, to keep checking that and make sure that I'm not um, losing anything or um, that the page still works because no matter how good of a renderer you are or a colorist or painter or whatever, if the page doesn't read, if the page isn't clear, then... Um, you know, you've kind of failed as a colorist because when they call that storytelling, even as a colorist, it's considered storytelling. Um, you're storytelling with color, you know. Um, so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like this, uh, keep in mind that um, I do have a coloring course. There's a link below in the description. It's a full length, uh, comprehensive course on all this stuff and all the things that I've sort of hinted around at a little bit. I've covered more in there. And I'll have more videos, of course, on YouTube coming up discussing uh, some of these things as well. So, so thanks again. Like the video. A little thumbs up below the video if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you soon.